Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bloops here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reduce your video files by up to 90% without losing any quality. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description, and you're going to want to download a program called Handbrake. Now I'll wait for this to load up, and when you have a Windows computer, you should know if you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit. You're just going to want to click on download the one corresponding to your computer. If you have a Mac, you're, of course, you're going to want to click over here. So I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm just going to click on that there. And then it's going to bring you to a source forge. If source, source forge, I cannot talk today. Probably still said that wrong. Anyways, it should start your download automatically. If it doesn't, you can click this link here. Now, I already have this, so I'm just going to click cancel here. So once you're done that, you're going to want to drag it to somewhere where it's easily accessible. I already have mine on my desktop, so I'm going to just minimize out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and run Handbrake. Alright, so once you open up Handbrake, it should open up a window like this one here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find out the video that you have on your desktop. Then you're just going to want to click on Source, go to Open File, Desktop, and then find out the video that you want to file. As you can see, this video is 166 megabytes, and I'm just going to click Open, and it should open it up. Now, it won't do it right away, but make sure you have the same settings as I do. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check Web Optimized go to the videos tab click on use advanced tab instead if this isn't here this isn't here just go straight to the advanced tab and make sure your reference frames are on 4 they should be on 3 by default don't mess with the maximum B frames next you're just going to want to go to audio and just change the bitrate to 128 YouTube automatically changes video files down to 128 anyway so there is no point in leaving it at 160 so right after that all you have to do is click start and it should go ahead now if you do have a problem with it saying not being able to do it, uh, if you have a destination file set up or something like that, you're just going to want to go to File, oh sorry, Tools, Options, you're going to go to Output Files, and then you're going to want to set your output files. Alright, I have mine on my desktop, so that should be there. Now it may automatically be default set up, but if not, oh I should probably click on my desktop again, uh, you're going to have to do something like that or choose which file you want to put it into. So after that you click close and then you can just click start. This current file already exists. Would you like to overwrite it? Yes, I would. And as you can see, it's not that long of a video at all. So it's going to just go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to pause the video quick here and wait till it's done. Alright, so now that's done, it should have created a folder where you had the destination file. Mine's the handbrake folder. So I'm just going to double click on that and actually just drag this to the desktop and we'll be able to see the difference here. So this is the same file here. This one is 166 megabytes and this one is 71 megabytes. So it pretty much split it over in half. I've noticed that in some videos that it'll actually it'll cut it down even more but it just depends on what type of video it is and how long the video is especially what the quality is. But you should notice no difference in the quality. I'll go ahead and play it quick. It's just a quick intro. Alright, so there that is. I'm going to pause it before the video starts. And then we'll play this one here. And there should be no difference in the video. As you can see, the quality looks exactly the same, but the file is actually cut in half completely. So there you go. Hopefully that your videos will even be smaller than that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you helped. I hope this video helped you out at all. If it did, leave a like down below and comment how actually how much that this helped you in cutting down your file sizes or what I should do uh, to improve or whatever. Alright guys, thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.